PCOS, if you're ovulating, you're ovulating poor quality old eggs usually. And now it's possible to get pregnant when you're very young with that one ovulation you might have a year and actually have a baby even then. But more commonly, you're going to have miscarriage because you're not recruiting that egg in the beginning of your cycle. Uh, you're not recruiting it early and you're developing it very, very late. And either you're not ovulating or you're ovulating late in the cycle with old eggs that are going to cause a miscarriage. So it's very simple what we do. We put you on birth control pills first for a minimum of 30 days, maybe 40 days. And that's the way we're going to clean out all the bad quality eggs. The science of that is very interesting, and I, I think I'll explain it because people with PCOS will want to understand this. So normally when you ovulate uh, or we have a menstrual cycle, that fertile egg that was uh, sensitive to pituitary hormones began its recruitment four and a half months earlier. There is a, a group of resting follicles on the outside almost of your ovary that are just resting for, they're dormant for your whole life until they're recruited. They're not, they're not hormone sensitive. So the recruitment has nothing to do with hormones. It's an inexorable process and it's related to the tissue pressure gradient in your ovary. Inexorably, a thousand eggs every month and 30 eggs every day leave that resting phase and four and a half months later, they enter the menstrual phase where they're actually sensitive to pituitary hormones. Now, the crucial thing to realize is that you have FSH stimulating your eggs all the time. Everybody does, FSH and LH. So when, when those 30 eggs reach the very point where they're finally sensitive to the pituitary hormones, it's going to be 11 days of stimulation when they're fertile and ready for... Uh, HCG or, or ovulation LH so they can be fertilized. But if they've begun that process of sensitivity to FSH for two or three or four days or more, and you stimulate, well, those will be poor quality eggs because they're already post mature. You want to get only those eggs that have just today, when you start the stimulation, become sensitive to the pituitary hormones. So we put you on birth control pills. And the science is clear why we have to do that for 30 to 40 days. And then we stop the pill and then we start you on minimal stimulation. And it's a piece of cake, really. It's a regular IVF cycle. Well, you may have a lot of eggs responding. And so we certainly trigger you with Lupron so it won't be dangerous. And that's it. We freeze the embryos and you come back three months later to have the embryos transferred to you when it's safe to transfer them to you. So PCOS is my favorite condition because it's so easy to treat and the success rate is so incredibly high. It's the idea that it's a difficult problem is from convoluted thinking from doctors in the field that aren't really scientists. Mm -hmm.